Hey, it's Ariel with your weekly Genius Biofeedback tutorial. To learn more, go to GeniusBioFeedback.com. Today, we're talking about the field around the heart, the most divine and exquisite field you can imagine and the most powerful one in the body as well. The frequency that represents this toroidal field has been programmed into the genius and you can use this frequency when you want to really create more flow, manifestation, get yourself back into alignment with the most true parts of yourself. Let's learn more about the toroids now and then look at it on the genius. So if you've never heard of the torus before, that is the field that really represents universal energy. It is the most um, perfect field and it probably represents the universe, the field around ourself and the field particularly around the human heart. The energy construct that you see with the manifold kind of folding in on itself, that beautiful curvature, it is a representation visually that something starts as a descent from spirit or the ascent from matter through a, ch a central channel or tube of light or energy or consciousness. So if you meditate on the Taurus, it will reveal a lot of secrets about the universe. And what you're seeing is a mathematical representation of what that toroidal field is. And you have this toroidal field around yourself, around your own heart. And we can see that depicted in this field. This is um, actually a toroidal field being represented as showing around the human body. So the torus, the torus shows or allows a vortex of energy to form, which bends back along itself and then re-enters itself. So there is a continuity. This represents the infinite nature of the universe. And ultimately, it is your infinite nature, right? There are we a uh, are we manifest as a spirit in a human body? Or are we a human body within a spirit, which is what is being shown in the picture? We exist within this div divine toroidal field, which is one of infinite energy, infinite being, infinite possibilities. This is our true nature represented in a visual manifestation, which is the geometry of the toroid. Now the electrical field around the heart has been measured and it turns out that this field is way stronger than the field of the brain. The field, the electrical field of the brain is puny compared to the electrical field of the heart. And now it's been really posited that really our intelligence as a human being really comes much more from our heart. And in fact, we have been consciously moving into a time where we are recognizing that our true intelligence comes from reconnecting with our heart. As you connect with and manifest through your heart, your heart's desire, it's way more powerful and it's way more all knowing than what you think you should do. When you tap into your own intuition, the desires that you have, what your true dreams and wishes are, you're tapping into an infinite innate intelligence. And if we could see this clairvoyantly, we would see the brilliant toroidal field beginning to expand out because you're getting into your heart. You can also see from Barbara Brennan, who wrote the book, uh, Hands of Light, this was what she saw. So she saw the whole toroidal field emanating around the person. You can see the top of the toroid at the top and at the bottom. So when we are having that beautiful aura, which is the perfect toroidal field without any breaks or bumps, when our toroidal field, when the field around our heart is functioning as it should, we feel that our life is in balance. 
we're satisfied and happy with our actions, we're in the flow of life, and the field <clears throat> that we're creating is that you would see is that toroidal field with no breaks, the energy is healthy, and the body is healthy. They study toroids even in the field of geometry, and we call it sacred geometry for its representation, for its representation of the heart, but also taps into the infinite energy of the universe. A major branch of geometry is the study of geometrical structures or manifolds. The manifold is that wonderful folding or curving energy that you see that is the nature of the toroid. A manifest is a curved space of some dimension and this curved energy is also informing something about the infinite nature of time. In fact, we are deeply connected um, and can reach into the past, can reach into the future, and all of these things are flowing together simultaneously. And there's something about the nature of the curve that you see in the toroid that is representative, representative of that interconnection. For example, the surface of a sphere and a toroid, the surface of a donut really, are two-dimensional manifolds. Einstein's theory of general relativity Activity describes the universe, so this infinite connection of past, present, and future. He described it as the whole of space and time, a four-dimensional manifold, this curved nature. So space itself is not flat as we imagine it to be in our three-dimensional world. It's curved. The curvature of space is responsible for gravity and at a black hole space and time are so curved they get knotted up. Toroids may be a representation of time itself, not linear at all, constantly flowing backward and forward and influencing each interconnected part. So really to learn more about the secrets of the universe, take a moment and just manifest um, just meditate on the toroid itself. Any of these pictures, take a moment, just let your focus go on them. Imagine that field around your heart and then imagining expanding it to represent the entire universe. This is an incredible way to create a new level of harmony and health in your world and also feeling deeply connected to everything else. Now you can also use the toroidal frequency on the genius, which is in sacred geometry. So you go to sacred geometry and you find the one that says toroids. You can put it up in the quick zap. You could imprint water with it. You could run it overnight by putting the setting down to zero. You want to entrain that wonderful toroid into your field. And you can specifically use it if you're feeling stuck or stagnating in your life. If you want to manifest something in your life, the most enduring manifestation the ones that will really last, the ones that will have the least amount of problems and bumps in the road are the ones that are created through your heart. So when you truly want something, it's interconnected with your heart's desires. You're not creating it to please someone else, to please your parents, to please um, anyone, just yourself. Life is supposed to feel good. We're meant to be happy. When you're creating from that wonderful heart space, then those are the most enduring and most successful things that you can create. So use toroids when you want to even heal the heart. If you're working something related to a pathology of the heart, use that. You want the energy in your life to flow better. Reconnect with your heart by using um, these different protocols or processes. Here's two that are very, very simple. You could take the sacred geometry toroids, which is an energy of the heart, Take 528 hertz, which is also related to the heart and related to creating transformation and miracles, and create and also nojier G. So all three of these together in the quick quick zap or the main hold tray. You could put other items in there as well. Nojier G is the universal frequency combining the left and right brain and encouraging creativity. If you don't know what these are, you may want to get the desk reference success cards that I've created, which give you an easy access to these and help you to understand them at a deeper level, but also very, very quickly by just grabbing a card and looking at it. You can see more about those cards in the YouTube description. So now place all three of these in the quick zap or the main hold tray and run for nine minutes. 
You can also use these three to repair relationships. Use toroids, a reconnection to your heart. Use the solfeggio frequency 396 hertz, which is for repairing relationships and is even good at repairing relationships within your body. So if you're having some type of a signaling issue, if you have a memory issue, or if you have the the C word, some type of um, degenerative disease, cancer, and so forth, you want to get your cells to communicate. So you can create better communication in your body and in your world through running 396 hertz. Then in this particular protocol, incorporate Nogier D, which will help you to reduce stress, balance the brain, calm the nervous system, and place all three in the quick zap for three minutes or for, I'm sorry, for six minutes or nine minutes. So using this three, six, or nine, those are very divine numbers. So having three or six items in the tray or running the frequencies for three, six, or nine minutes um, can bear a lot of fruit. Those are great timing to use with your genius frequencies, with your genius sessions. So we're just going to bring the genius up here. If you don't know about the genius or you've never heard of it, go to geniusbiofeedback.com, get a free personal demonstration, get access to our educational tools, and learn more about the genius there. Let's go ahead and just look at the sacred geometry panel. And what we would do for that first one, it was, oh, wow, the toroids is even red. We would bring it up into the quick zap. Okay, there it is. And then we talked about using the solfeggio, which is also helps to reconnect to the heart. And we would bring this one up. This is one for creating transformation and miracles. And then we could also use a nogier, and we're going to use nogier G, which is the universal frequency, but it's also great for connecting the brain, the most creative processes of the brain. So this would be great if you want to reconnect to your heart, if you want to um, start a new project, if you want to manifest, say you want to manifest more money, say you want to manifest a new house, say you want to manifest a new job, whatever it is, whatever you're trying to create or really get that manifestational power, then you would use this trinity. And you could put other items in there too. We have a success frequency program. We have a home manifestation or home clearing program. You can get all of those at geniusbiofeedback.com. And now let's look at the other one for repairing relationships. So it's the same setup. We'd go to sacred geometry, get the toroids, because repairing relationships is about reconnecting to the heart. And we go to the solfeggio tones. And in this case, we're going to get 396 hertz. It does say it's about liberating guilt and fear here. If you do more research into the solfeggios, it's about repairing relationships and Increasing communication, increasing communication that is very productive between people, between cells, between different parts of your body. So very, very good for relationships. And then we're going to use um, Nogier D, 2336 hertz. And this is very good for tapping into creativity, for tapping into calming your nervous system down, for moving information across the right and left part of the brain and reducing stress. And sometimes relationships can be stressful. So then you would just hit the play button here and run that for three, six, or nine minutes. So this is Dr. Ariel Policano. Every week I post a genius tutorial so you can learn more about the genius biofeedback system. We also have a class on Mondays live at 9 o'clock Pacific time, 12 o'clock Eastern that you can sign up for down in the YouTube description. Again, please go to geniusbiofeedback.com to learn more and get to broadcast your intentions and manifest your dreams. I'll see you in the next video.